I want to ring Send this call for me. No, no, what are you do? Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day four of the Nigerian Professional Basketball League Final in Lagos. Second game for the day, the first one was between um, Lagos Islanders and Kano Pillars. Congratulations, Kano Pillars. Surprisingly, they had a 40-point win over Lagos Islanders. Second game for the day, Benway Braves taking on Rivers Hoopers. Politically, it's going to be Governor Yensi Omwike versus Governor Samuel Othom. This is not a time for political camaraderie or rapprochement. This is blood, war for war. On the floor for the group of Samuel Owicho playing one, Henry Oriake Owen, Victor Coco, the captain, Brett Okwete, and Bayo. And on the floor for the Benue Braves is Simon um, Owache. We have LeBron, Emmanuel Oigoga, who dropped a double-double performance yesterday. We have Sonny, HMB, Shijuoke, and of course, Patrick Abar. Scores now is 2-0. Kotsi, Benue Braves, short from El Wache. Victor Coco, he just got up. He went up, rather, making it a two a piece. Victor Coco, oh, yes, yes. Yesterday, Victor Coco gave out a very good performance. Dropping down from outside, man. The, you know, he's both inside and outside player. He is dominating. I mean, he is not a conventional post and big man post playing in the paint kind of player. Now, from the outside, he's deadly. From the inside, he's skillful as well. 17 points, 19 points, and 12 rebounds. That was great from Victor Coco. Wow, Patrick Abba. Second basket for the Benway Braves. You need to watch out for Patrick. He's been one of the outstanding players for, for Benway Braves. He's been putting up numbers. His consistency is just, is just off the charts. Yeah, Patrick Abar, and this is just his second year in the league. So trust me, when he has like three, four, five years experience, definitely that brother is going to be dominant. Four point lead now for the Benway Brave. Kotsi, a basket from Emmanuel Oegoga, who had a double double performance yesterday as well. The Benway Brave look determined, but hey, they're playing against Rivers Hoopers. And Owen takes a dro drop shot. Owen's bread and butter. Signature move from Owen. Oh, oh, what did you say about it? Oh, shot from Patrick Abba. I just talked about that guy. I just talked about that player. Bright Akwete with a three. Okay, Bright can shoot from outside the paint too. But he has not been on the shooting form for this um, period. A nice rebound on your shot but doesn't count. And Bright with the rebound. Bright will always be there for the cleanup. You know, Bright is always like a changing factor for... Oh, beautiful pass there from Simon Oroicho. I mean, that brother reminds me of his every time he's playing play. It's Southwest. As I was saying before, Bright, 
Bright is like a changing factor for this team. Anytime he comes in, there's always a turnaround. Whenever Royal Pass are down or having a problem, they bring Bright in. Bright does what Bright does best. And he, 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 he brings the team back into shape. Calling the X Factor of the team. Little one that the River Supers have to break banks to land him. I mean, did you see what Coach Oga did? Bringing in a Wache, bringing in Bright, bringing in Bayo, bringing in Mustafa. What are we trying to build here? Fort Knox? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was some really, well, that's a, a unsportmanlike foul. Not, not, no, no, unsportmanlike. Not unsportmanlike, that was like a, a clumsy foul. I think. I think okay. the Benway Braves are going to be a bit careful not to rack up fouls. Bright got fouled and he's going to take two. Always good at the free throw. That's like lollipop for Bright Aquiti. Scores the first. Expectedly, he's going to score the second. I mean, we're going to be surprised if he missed. It's going to take a lot to knock that, to, to point that far today. They really need this. Burner Braves need to win this game in order to ascertain their uh, spot on the the next phase, the next uh, what I call it, the next round, semi-finals. Semi yeah. To the semi-finals. They need this win to be comfortable. Yeah. And and you give it up to them. They really put up a, a standing they performance. They need this win, even if they are going to lose this game. They should lose with at least a single digit point to keep them in contention. I mean. That group, probably the group of death. <laughs> As it is now on that group, like all the four teams have the chance of making it to the semi-finals. I mean, but you have to be the top two teams. I can say Quara Falcons is like 50% into the semi-finals already. with the three point and these guys are not re they are he's not ready to continue, back down he's going to continue from where he, he left off yesterday Manuel Oigogo Patrick Aber were the key players I mean that doesn't mean the other players didn't bring in complimentary roles or oh, he's going to take a step back and a three point we shall not do Victor Coco is going to be there to pick the rebound to Henry Oriake Every time I see him, I remember Mike Brown. I mean, Mike Brown has a whole lot of confidence on this player. Oriaki, three-point attempt and shot now good. Surprisingly, he's missing. Yeah, definitely, Patrick Abba is on fire. He got Victor had to foul him to slow him down. Because, exactly. you know, who knows, he might have dropped that One way to stop basket. a player like that is to foul him. Victor Coco fouled him. Patrick Abba is going to go to the line now to shoot. Two free throw substitution. The assistant captain of the team is going to step in to give Victor Coco a breather. As Butch, Butch, uh, Butch, 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 Butch. Just as Malone stepping in. This kid, I, I don't understand. He just came out of nowhere and he's like, he's all over the place. He's definitely all over the place. I mean, you know, I love me politics a bit, man. So referring to politics a bit, I mean, they're not too young to rule. Not too young to rule. Bill was signed recently, so he's applying it to the game of basketball. Hey, I'm young, so I want to take over. Yeah, all this. <laughs> take the backstage. <laughs> Speaking of all this, Ray has been a really great impact in this team. One of the yeah. one of the veteran players of this of yeah, Braves. He brings leadership and he brings coordination to the younger brave team. Patrick up 100 percent on the free throw line. Score line is 17-10 in favor of the Benway Braves. As we wind down, 
to the last five minutes of the first quarter. 4.44 remaining. 4 minutes 44 seconds remaining. Oh, okay, remember what you said in the beginning that Benue Braves and their fouling habits, they're already in the penalty. Already, oh, too early to be in the penalty spot. And against a shooting team like Rivers Hoopers, definitely it's going to be a deficit. Harry Oriake. Oh, oh, first shot, not good. Surprisingly, he's missing. But this is the kind of player you don't send to the charity stripe. Okay. Matter of fact, this is not the kind of player you are allowed to shoot to hold the ball. <laughs> At all. This guy is, but this is surprisingly, he's missing. He's missed both. No. He's not been shooting form in this tournament so far. Bucci with the rebound. First rebound for Omu Bucci announcing his presence on the court. Right. Oh. A dime from Oriake. A good finish from Bright. Two bits too strong. Shot not good. Owen with the rebound. And he, he's on transition. Oh! Whoa. Foul! Count it! That guy is good! That was very technical, that was very smart, and that was very wise. Took advantage of, of his, of the, of, uh, what's his name? Patrick's uh, misstep. And a timeout call. A timeout call, Coopers. Bio there, very technical. Hey, yo, Patrick, when you run, Sometimes you got to pump the bridge. <laughs> that guy's like, it's like he's not stopping at all, man. He drove like a loose cannon. <laughs> and Bayo had to capitalize on that. Patrick fouled him. Bayo scored. And Bayo is being given an opportunity to make it a three-point play with an end. Oh, One call there from the referee. Wow. Four minutes, two seconds remaining to the end of the first quarter. And the score line is 14-17. Benue Braves with a three-point advantage. I hope they'll be able to hold on to this point. I hope so too, but hey, it's Rivers Hoopers. I mean, this is like the Galacticos of the current <laughs> men basketball team. But have you seen, but you, you, you should keep an eye out for Quara Falcons. Yeah, Quara Falcons are, they came all the way from underdogs now to the stars on top. I mean, who would have thought Quara Falcons would go this far? Beating Gumbi Bulls, beating Kano Killers? I mean, you have to give it to them. And kudos to Coach Baba, doing a good job there with the young boys. Yeah, he gives them the opportunity to express themselves. Exactly, and the boys, in turn, get to award that opportunity man, with good performance on the floor. Saying, hey, Coach, thanks for having our back. We got yours too. Mustafa Yebanji has been introduced for the Hoopers. He was with Gumbi Bulls last season. But Coach Ogo trying to strengthen. <laughs> Say Masugida. Yeah, Masugida won 40 points over the Islanders. But hey, it's going to be mathematics here, man. It's going to be real mathematics. It's going to be real mathematics. Till the end of the day, we're going to know who is going to make it. So Uchichi has been introduced. Another, Another good player for the Benue Brave, Uchichi. He's always been on double digit points since the inception of this tournament. Mike with the... Uh -oh. oh! The ball he couldn't the finish. Rebound LeBron. And he's fouled. Rebound LeBron. That's what he's good at. Rebound. Put back. He's too strong. Little one that he calls himself the big C's. Too, too big, too strong.
And Patrick, this is a chance for him to keep his 100% from the free throw. Oh, Patrick, this is the man of Oigoga, LeBron. Okay, LeBron, sorry. Uh, he scores the first, extending the lead to a four-point play. Three minutes, 29 seconds left. And both is yeah. good. A short blocker. One of the finest short blockers in Africa. Member of the MBBF, the senior men basketball team. Chris Ogbepa Awache. The pharaoh in the paint has been introduced for the Hoopers. I said earlier, Victor Koko is one of the most defensive players in Nigeria. And now you're bringing Awache and you're bringing the bright. Hey, Coach Ogo, are you trying to build a fat Knox there or what? Bridge lead by four. 15 19, three point attempt. And, and he was fouled by Oyebuchi. Oh. The is going to go to the line. <laughs> Oyebuchi looks so confused and frustrated right now. Alright, thanks, Louis. I mean, it's our nation, so we got to be involved in all its fair, politically, sport-wise, and all. The only way we're going, the only place we're going to stay away from is the negativity. Yeah. Score two. Uh oh, he misses missed. the second. So far, he's been 75% on the free throw line. The draw, Oigoga. And a double digit performer. This is a stellar performance. Nyobuchi is going to give the ball to James. Apparently, his name is James and he's putting on Jesse number 23. So, yeah. is he the LeBron of the team? Awache oh, sinks it. Shot is good from the line. You know, Awache is a very selective. Awache is a very selective shooter. Boy, this selective, there's a high percent chance of him scoring. Selective shot, white. Oh, LeBron with a bad pass. Amusi has been introduced. Amusi takes the ball to the. Uh oh, that's gonna be a steal from Akili. Steal from Akili. Oh, he locates LeBron. The fear of Awache is gonna make him miss that. Achilles have been off for the last game due to some slight injury, but he's back and I hope he'll be able to bring some fire to this team. Definitely he will. It's going to be a positive addition for the Brave, as we've seen so far. So far he's gotten like three assists and two steals already. So, substitution, Oigoge is going to take a breather. Michael Usiayo is going to take a breather. Michael has, has been failing to put back those easy buckets. I don't know, is it, I don't know what he's afraid of. But give kudos, kudos to him. He's really tried. Yeah, he's been trying he's been defensively. Trying. He's, been, he's been dropping some few points as well. And watch it. Musi forces his way and is fouled by the big C. That will not be shooting to. That will be fouled by the side. He got I'll, fouled before he attacked the ring. Sanjay. Our our back uh, commentator Sanjay wants the shooting team. All right. And now the hand slam of the team has been introduced. Ray. Talking about Ray. Raymond Akuelu. Ray. First shot is good from Musti. 
Yeah, reducing the deficit. Mostly. 18 points now for the Rivers Hoopers and 21 points for the Benway Braves. Speaking of, Musti really helped um, River Hoopers yesterday. His threes because the threes were dropping for, for the team yesterday. Oh, shot not good by Akiri. And Gucci with the offense. And now Musi forces his way as usual, but no good. Once again, actually with the interception. What are we going to say? Is he the defensive solution to Mustafa? Okay, LeBron James of the Hoopers. <laughs> with a <the> foul there. <laughs> Funny wow. enough, he's leaving his beard. Just like LeBron James, the only difference, he ain't got bald hair like LeBron James. <laughs> uh, don't let him hear that. He will come all over. He will come after you. Then I'm going to be long gone, bro. <laughs> we have a lot of officials out there, too. Coach Ogo is going to bring his experience to bear. I mean, he did internship for one month with the Sacramento Kings under coach Mike Brown. I mean, definitely, he's going to be a wealth of experience. Translating it into the players may not be immediate, but trust me, given the team the next two, three years, we're going to see a positive transformation. I feel like wiping off 10, 15 years out of my life, man. I'm going for trials with the Rivers. <laughs> if only wishes were horses. Yeah, White Time will be a hooper. You are, you, but you are a hooper, though. Nigeria <laughs> Abuja bats. <laughs> All right. Funny enough. Oh, Ray with the rebound. Oh. Laji Portu is now with the Rivers Hoopers. He was with the Gombe Bulls last season. And watch out. A slick pass there, but it was intercepted by Ray. I mean, it has to be, it has to take a man of experience to intercept that kind of pass. First quarter is going well. Both teams are really putting up great performance. Uchichi fumbles, but he gets the ball. Ray. <laughs> Blocked there by Awache. This is my. Come down there now by Buchi. Whoa, ho! Musti, a pop and a fake on basket is good. Less than 50 seconds to play. River Supers 19. Benway Braves 23. This time around, actually, he's going to foul Musti. Oh, no. It's actually... Oh, okay. Um, it was Musti's foul. Hey, Musti, we got Musti for the Braves. We got Musti for Hoopers. So, Musti fouled Musti. So, it's going to be battle of the Mustis. One Musti fouling, another Musti. First shot is good. Keeping it 100% on the free point line, on the free throw line, rather. Mustafa Oyebanji, who remember this brother dropped almost 82 points while he was with the hoops and reeds. That was where he broke into the limelight. Uchichi. No good. Oh, he's not going to stop. And watch it. Trying to dribble the ball. Going for stalling. Referee, we call that an infringement. Like ball, he said, but hey, we are just the viewers, of course, probably the analysts. He is the referee, he's the professional. But would, you, jurisdiction. but would you think that that was a, a leg ball? I ain't a referee. He was a guy talking behind the mic, so <laughs> he a pro in that. So let's learn to trust his judgment. That doesn't mean all the referees are perfect. We are all humans. We only mean perfection in heaven. I want that double A. Is that going to be basketball in heaven? Injury. <laughs> Would that be injury in heaven? Good basketball by Malone. Good basketball by Malone. The left hand finish. Winding down. And, then, and it is the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Benway Braves with, and Benway Braves with a five point lead. Rivers who was trailing behind with 20. Great performance by both teams. Give it up to them. Yeah. Um, Bruno Bruno is like they need to win. River Hoppers need to stay invincible.
It's like um, Johnson hasn't played in this quarter at all. Yeah, Johnson hasn't played. I'm not even seeing him on the it's, bench. He's on the bench, number four, Johnson. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe that game of yesterday was was something to write home about. That game was really, really energy sapping. I'm even draining. surprised that um, Kanu Pillars could come back with such venom yeah. even after that. They definitely but need to be bottom of the table in the group. I mean, I've never is, seen it before. Listen, I've <laughs> never. I've ne it's unheard of. Kanu Pillars. You must give it to them. They've been legendary for more than two, yeah. three decades. Yeah, you know when you do rebranding, you're going to have to come with a fall. Yeah, true. But well, it's true. not going to be easy. So, I, and somebody, one of the spectators said to, um, this today that they should forget up, should, they should try and forget about championships and build and emphasize on building the new team for the next three years. The next three year plan to build another solid team instead of chasing championships because they've actually done a good job. They've been uh, consistent for. Almost a decade, like you said. Yeah. That's the spirit, man. They are not gonna be that patient. They are champions. They are used to trophies. They are used to titles. Let, let's take it. Let's take it away from um, basketball. Let's go to football. I mean, uh, Manchester United. Manchester United <laughs> has been doing branding since Alex Ferguson left. And and we uh, barely made. We barely made the play. Of we barely made. Um, that is the bad thing. Football is more difficult. Football it will take you probably a decade. It might take a decade before you. Hey, but it's sports. It's sport. Oh, Lakers. I don't want to talk about it because <laughs> the, 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 the young guns, the young guys that will have been enjoying now talking about people like okay, I don't want to mention, I don't want to mention what's his name, Kyle Kuzma. Nah, but players like like and what's this guy with the Pelicans now, man? Oh my God, this is my player. I forgot in his name. This is my player with the Pelicans yes, now, man. Uh, see what Lance is doing. I mean, see all the young guys with Lonzo Ball and all. If you had kept those players, Lakers would have been the first number. Hey, we needed LeBron. You see, they wanted championship. They wanted, they wanted a championship. championship, and that is the result. And we got a COVID um, championship. <laughs> <laughs> not a COVID championship. We got a COVID champ. I mean, bringing it back now, domesticating. That's what kind of pillars are. It team that they are used to silverware. They are used to trust. Good. That's what happened to Lakers. Is what was going to happen to them if they don't start the brand? Hey, look at Dele. Dele is already is barely playing well now because yeah. of his injury. No, but he is. I mean, you must give it to that brother. No, he Since has... he broke into the league, he's been consistent. consistent. He has never dropped his performance. I wonder, I mean, how... That goes to show he has a healthy lifestyle. That's one. And his work ethics is like Kobe. Hey, let me just call him the Nigerian Kobe. All right, let's leave that and get back to All the right, game. back to the second quarter now. Rivers Hoopers taking on Benway Braves. Someone told me a call has just been put across to the state houses of both teams. Governor Samuel Otom is probably watching this now via Niger Hoops from Benway in his Oval Office. So also is Governor Nyes of Wike. So right now, they are forgetting that they are political pals, the enemies on the warlord. So maybe after the game, they can continue fighting at T2 or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> There's an unsportman like foul called. Okay. James for the Hoopers. Do roll the Braves depot. don't need this kind of fouls. Early period. There's no pressure right now. So I, I wonder why you're getting an unsportman like foul. That's, that's one thing the coach of the Brave team is really, really going to work on. He really needs to work on that. They are prone to fouls. I mean, they can't just resist the temptation of fouling. And, and LeBron James of Royal Hoopers. Who fouls is the team you don't send to the line? Who passes the team, you don't give them the opportunity to shoot because they're going to bury you. I mean, they shoot three mid-range free throw. When you get to do an internship of one month under Coach Mike Brown, what do you expect? Coach Mike Brown. <laughs> James. To Bucci, Bucci, Fossi. Guru, Ladipo. To James. Oh, oh beautiful, beautiful play transition. Yeah. Beautiful play there. Yeah. Beautiful play there. Yeah. And you the lead has been passes, cut to one. Yeah, the pass is forcing the defense of the Bayonet Braves to move. Ray with a three. Try a three. Signature doesn't go. Actually, we save the ball now. Efforts good though. Sent it. That attempt sent him to the end of the court. Like to the uh, uh, spectators back. Imagine there were chairs all over that place. You are probably flown over into the Thank uh, God there are neutral. Uh oh, uh oh, the brother is going to sit on the floor. He's injured. Oh, he's taking one for the team. Now this is going to cost him. He's going to be out for a minute. 
He's been very, very defensive. I mean, putting out his all just for the team. Sonia has been introduced. This is not a player you will need to get injured at this time. Poor pass there by Mustafa David. I got intercepted by Bucci. Unfortunately, it slipped out of the hand, out of bounds. Possession still been with Brace. With 40 seconds on the short clock to attack. Uchichi with the deep three. No good. Musti with the rebound. And Rivalp has had a chance to increase to take the lead, but it doesn't fall through. But Bucci. Duro Ladi for shot there, no good rebound. Bucci. To Duro. Duro to James. James to Mustafa. Mustafa. Watch out with the long two. You know, Mustafa, um, Mustafa has been forcing his drive all day. Oh, beautiful play, but Ewache is going to be the take that ball. <laughs> A javelin to Mustafa. Uh oh. Razu Dazu. A pass to. The ball slipped out of the hands of Duro. A beautiful communication there from the River Scoopers. I wonder why Mustafa is not playing his, his usual kind of game. What is that kind of play? He shoots, man. That, that guy is like a sniper. All oh, right, now he's just trying to like bull his way into the. So I think, I think, I think, I think there's a routine. I think there's a game plan drawn up by the coach. So I think he's going to stick. You know, you know, one thing with playing your own game is you have to score. If not, the coach is going to keep the board on the bench. <laughs> Raymond Bucci is going to go coast to coast. He kicks out, but it's intercepted by Uchichi. Malone. Malone will go to the rim. Whoa, Basket is last. good, defying the charge. The two Five. teams have been going up and down, up and down. No basket at last. If one of them broke the gym. Seven minutes in the five seconds. And watch it. Ho ho! He always does that. I don't know how oh. people fall for that. Oh, man. That brother is the bag of tricks. He's a trick star. Let me just call him the Dolphins of basketball. I mean, not the female Dolphins, though. I'll say rest in peace. It brings to mind the deceased owner. Three point attempt from Uchichi. Wow. Basket no good. Rebound LeBron. He's going to get Uchichi. And this time Uchichi will drive while the ball was stolen by. Zero, he went straight into the hands of LeBron and he scored. You see LeBron trying to trap, trying to tap James. I mean, he may be putting on different uniforms. James has been tapped by LeBron. James has been tapped by LeBron, wow. It's going to be a medical time out there. I think James needs attention. Okay. He's going to be substituted. Oriaki coming in for James. No, no, no. Owen forces the shot, doesn't count. Uchichi brings the ball into play. It's been phenomenal for the Braves. Braves to LeBron, who's gonna muscle his way around Uriaki. He's on the foul to Owen. Definitely, Owen don't bought the foul with the Tom Tom. I think he received Tom Tom. Yeah. What a sweet relief. Nah, that was more like a painful relief now, man. <laughs> and nothing sweet about that relief. He felt the elbows of the ground. Well, you know something? If you are in someone's cylinder, I don't know what the person is supposed to do yeah, again. I think, I don't know. The bro want to go up and funny enough, Owen found his way around the cylinder. So definitely. He go collect. Yeah, <laughs> First shot is good for LeBron. Increasing the tally to 24. 30, 26 in favor of the Benway Braves. Whoa. Two is good. Two is good. 
Marlon or Ibogba, aka LeBron. Video breaks really shocking people. They are putting up a stellar performance. Yeah. Okay, oh, Ocho has been reintroduced. Funny enough. Oh, intercepted there. By Ray. Ray has gotten like four interceptions now. Bringing his experience to four. He's gonna try a long tree. But now, nah, he ain't gonna see. Okay, okay. Uh oh. What was uh -oh. our chair trying to do there? Was he trying to do a reverse dunk on that he guy? He was trying to do a reverse dunk. What are we doing? He missed that. That would have been one of the highlights of today's game. Tony HMB. Uchichi. Whoa, ho, shot is good. All one there by Samuel Uchichi. And Benny Braves have an eight point lead. Eight point lead. Five minutes, 33 seconds left. And watch out with the three point. Shot not good. Would you try to save it? Steps out of bounds. Step out of line. Step out of bounds. It's going to be an infringement. Udule Bio, Brian Okwete, and Victor Anthony. We're going to step in for the Coopers. As Coach Ninja quickly called a timeout. The scores is 26-34. Benue Braves with an 8-point advantage. 5 minutes, 24 seconds left at the end of the first half. Timeout call, Benue Braves. What is that? What a way to beef up the team. Adding Brett Okoite. Bringing in Duro Ladipo. Who was with the Gombe Bulls last season? Mustafa Oyebanji with the Gombe Bulls last season. And also one of the finest shot blockers in Africa. One of the slickest post players. One of the dopest center you can find around the basketball space in Africa and beyond. Chris Ogbepa Owache. It's like River Up has crippled uh, Benu uh, Gombe Bulls. Yeah. Took away almost all their prospect players. Exactly. <laughs> Mustafa and Ladipo. Funny enough, what they did was went to two teams and carried two players. The last mark, the Ball Basketball Championship saw Bright and Awache playing on the same team last more heat. Yeah. Unfortunately, they lost to Nigerian Customs. Hey, mark the ball over. Nigerian Professional Basketball League Final 8, Lagos, now invoked. Patrick Abba has been reintroduced. Jump ball. Jump ball. He's a low man, Bio. So when you bounce that low, definitely. No pick it. You get picked. Big C fails to convert the basket. Very swift from Victor Coco. <laughs> he knew that player was definitely going to follow him. He took advantage of that. Man is going to go to the charity stripe to shoot two. Victor scores the first. Hundred percent on the free throw line for Victor Coco. Oh, 
Abu struggles to cross the other side of the court, but hands the ball over to LeBron, who gives it to Big C, and he's spotted by Victor Coco. But Vic, the basket still finds his way into the net. Still an eight point lead? Yeah. Wow. It's going to be the battle of two elephants. Definitely the ground is going to suffer. Bright equating versus Big C. Bright Akwete versus Big C. Both went to the ground. So I'm going to play with your big fellas. Spare our court. <laughs> I'm still trying to manage it. Oh, he's going to go to the rim. And he was blocked by LeBron. Whoa, ho. That's one of the things he does best with the Coco. Block. And recently, I think as recent as last week was his wedding anniversary. So once more, congratulations. Wish you more marital bliss with the Coco. With the Coco. Double A. I don't like one thing. I don't like one thing for marriage, especially with ladies. His wife was a baller. But now, man, she ain't balling no more. Are you sure? brother is still rocking the floor. But she played City League. Ah, City League. When last did you see her play competitive? I mean, City League is competitive, but when last did you see her play for the... Anyway, who knows? Probably the next Zenith League, man, we may just see her unveil. Yeah, maybe that's what she's waiting for. I mean, but it's beautiful, man. When you have a husband and a wife, man. Who, who are, loves ball? Who are both ball players. So even when you're... The well, best place to set to the beef, man, is just carry the ball to the, the basketball court. court one on one. <laughs> How does Sharon and uh, what's his name? Precious. Precious handle that. Oh, man. Probably we need to bring them live, man. Sharon and Precious, if y'all are watching us right now, y'all just come into the comment section and just say something. Oh, Bright. Beautiful finish from Bright, Bright of Quick. Bright is so graceful when he goes up there. 99.9% sure that he goes for any time he goes. Oh, coming Whoa, -ho. Whoa! That's one thing the Benny Braves keep missing. The second opportunity is y'all got to score, especially with a team like Hoopers. And when there are no high flyers around, free baskets. Seriously, you won't put that ball back in. You're going to suffer for it. True that. Substitution now. Malone coming in for LeBron to give the brother a little breather. <laughs> Victor Coco with his second block. But still is gonna be, it's still gonna be, it's still gonna be, it's still gonna be, it's still gonna be. Benway Braves ball. It's like Coach Ogo needs glasses. He didn't need it. The ball touched the rim, so uh, definitely the shot clock is going to be reset for in seconds. <laughs> no, I think Coach Ogo needs uh, binoculars. Oh, not binoculars. In a game like this, you want to garner every advantage you can to your favor. So don't blame him. Maybe he was, just, he was, just, he was, he was trying to be smart. Quite trying to play smart. But that's what an experienced person will do. Malone with Malone the suspense. On Victor Coco. We had to go on suspense. I mean, the last time I saw this kind of move was from Michael Jordan and late Kobe Bryant. Thank and you, LeBron, for bringing those moves back to our view again. LeBron or Malone? Oh, Malone. And now the Benoit Braves have a 12-point lead. And the chance to make it a 14-point lead. And they put oh, it. Oh, you bought here with the fours. 30-44 in favor of the Braves. Benway Braves. 30-44.
questions are now being is going to be asked. What is going on with river uppers? The canopy pillars actually drained them yesterday. Uh, they are like they are practically still struggling off the um, canopy pillars game. It could be double. It could be you know what I mean. Or I maybe mean, they're underrating them. Playing playing a team like canopy pillars. No. Did you think um, river up? River Uppers are under, underestimating the... Not really underestimating. I think fatigue and all that, they're trying to gather momentum and save their energy. Did you see, the, the, cano did you see the Cano Pillars roster? Like half of the players got injured from yesterday's game. They couldn't even play. Like, it was seven players on the bench today. I'm surprised. Will that be the reason why Johnson didn't play? Probably. Or maybe they are... They are you know, I don't know whether tomorrow is, is going to be the semi-finals or there's going to be a, a day break. break. I think tomorrow should be no. Tomorrow is going to be the semis. This one is finishing on Saturday finals. So Friday is semi-finals. It's just like it's just like Celtics now playing against against. Um, I don't want to call the the Brooklyn Nets because Brooklyn Nets sucks. <laughs> Celtics against Milwaukee Bucks and either of the team now meets um, New York Knicks. <laughs> We should expect the new the, 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 the New York Knicks to take advantage, advantage of no the, disrespect to New York Knicks though, but hey, it's even the FL or Elders Day. So what you for use the Brooklyn Knights then? <laughs> Two minutes thirty, three seconds left. Fourteen point lead for the Braves. Oh it's oh, oh, gonna get blocked. Whoa, whoa. Braves. I see real brave. A three point attempt, but that was an air ball. He will always do that. He will always do that. Why some were clamoring for a travel? But the referee saw an end one play there. I had a lot of steps. So I don't know whether it's both him and the opponent. <laughs> Double A. Let's stick to what we do in media. No, we have our option to, to, yeah, add, to, to actually. No, I'm not saying that the referee didn't made a bad call. I just said I heard a lot of steps. So. Uchichi is going to come in for Patrick. I mean, Patrick should be very, very careful so he doesn't need to foul out because his team needs him. Bio scoring the free throw. I bet, the three I, bet you they have missed, I bet you they have missed that free throw. Victor would have gotten it. Because Victor had, the, had, had all grounds already. Oh, Ray. With the shake and big there. Oh. Nice coast to coast oh, wow. by Owen. Owen, he has to take the game right now to them. Because if they don't, do, if they don't step up right now, it's going to be a blowout. And uh, nine one point lead now. And one of uh, the players are down. Nine point lead now. They've been able to cut it down to the 14 point lead before 44 30. More well, Hoopers have scored like five points, cutting the deficit. We got a situation Malone is on the floor. Not good for the Bainway Braves. Two of their key players can be out on account of injury. They need all the Arsenal. They can get on the floor right now. Oichotu is going to bounce out of the court. Creating way for Mustafa. Nibanji. But why did Owen step out? Is he claiming to be injured or something? No, I think he was substituted. But he, he scored the. Uh, oh, yeah, he's supposed, so supposed to shoot and run. I think he was fouled. Okay, he's, he's hurt. On his left, on his left wrist. He's going to need medical attention now. And Musti takes the shot for the extra shot for him. What's Bio? What's Bio looking confused? Yeah, the score line is 35-44. 35 for the four. Henry scored and he was fouled. It's going to be an N1 play.
Drop now, good rebound, Bayo. And the foot back. They just took a, almost a 14 point lead and now they are they lost they've lost it. They've not scored. They can't afford to lose it. I mean the last five seconds when the Braves have not made a basket. They've gone on a 9-0 run right now. Oh, Victor Coco misses and the first. Rivalpas have gone in on a 9-0 run. 9-0 run in the last four minutes. He scores the second. Ah, it's a 10-0 run. 40. 44. 44. A 10-0 run now by the Hoopers. Beautiful basketball, beautiful defense. Translating to good offense. That's why I call it championship team. Exactly. The ability to come back from, from that kind of lead. Coco. Uh-oh. Too strong. <laughs> Watch it. What shot now, dude? Whoa, ho! What a chance down block by Samuel Uchichi. Uh -huh. Oh, uh -huh. Mustafa Oyeba. Uh -huh. Still struggling to score. But this time around, Bayo is not going to give the ball to Mustafa. So he doesn't get blocked again. Oh, ho! Graceful basket. Beautiful basketball there. Bright, like Bright I told you again. 99.9% .9 when he's in that position to take the shot. We, need double it. we must appreciate the patience of Bayo. He came down with the ball, patiently waited for Bright Akwede to post into the paint, and he gave him the pass. Yeah. I mean, big play there from Bayo. Yeah, Bayo, Bayo is another really outstanding player in this game, especially. Uh oh, he oh. missed. Bright misses his free throw. And now we'll come to the end of the second quarter of the game. Benry Braves squandered a 14-point lead and now the scores is 42-44. Benebrae's lead by two. Oh, okay, the one second, or I don't know. Uh, they want to give like one or two seconds. Two seconds, or how many seconds? Two, okay, one second. Let's see if Benebrae can make something out of this. and he had to block LeBron.
end of the first half, end of the second quarter, both teams are really going to take a long break, come back and continue with a tremendous effort. It's been a brilliant, it's been an amazing game so far. Being very brave from the blast of the whistle, have been on the advantage taking the lead with Hoopers trailing behind. At some point, they had a 14-point lead. But the about the Royal Ho Rivers Hoopers, I beg your pardon, had to cut it down to a 12-point lead into a two-point lead now, making it a 12-0 run in the last four minutes of the second quarter. Yeah. 
the game is my wife. High flyer like Musa, I'm going like a trolley. Put a water, shoot a hit you all with a slam dunk. All I wanna do is just bounce. Bounce on the game is my life. Fuck your all, it's my wife. High flyer like Musa, I'm going like a trolley. Put a water, shoot a hit you all with a slam dunk. All I wanna do is just bounce. bounce. I said it's hard as a wild, so I take a lot of shots. I need us on my feet, all day I dream about sports. Stay close on the court, shoot it like down the force. What is the little man? As a rock, cause I came from FCD. Cause I'm so the yard, coming with intensity. Wow. From your four holes, I make more headlines than party. I get you with more force than the police party. I'm a fisherman, who can put my box in there. The ball is the bitch, I whip my moves like a basket. Respect to MJ for my best baller is Kobe. All the round my ten, the king from FOB. I rip KD, for the state and the baller. Crack City, OKC, the shot caller. Sabuji, Stanley, Azoma, Musa, I'm an icon. Yeah, I'm flying high, they like the part of all my Yo, break time over. Launch boxes in the parks right now, and it's time of business. Okay, someone said Hoopers Yao play too much. I think I need to send this piece, man, a warning to Coach Ogger. Hey, Gift, what's up? Nice to hear from you. Yo, Alvin. Decided to give you a chance. And I'm back to the third quarter. I mean, it's business half now, you know what I'm saying? 42 44. Rivers Hoopers trailing behind with two points. On the floor for the Hoopers, Owaicho, Simon Owaicho, James. Victor Coco. Okay. 
Three point attempt by Coco. A shot not good. Rebound, big six. <laughs> Continuing from where he left off, he had to muzzle Victor Coco to find his way to the bucket. 42 46, 9 minutes, 24 seconds, third quarter. Okay, that will go down well with Bayo. Looking at the road. He a fighter. He's well built. Oh, oh, beautiful communication. But it was swiftly intercepted by Uchichi of the Benue Braves. Now all of been the brilliant connection between Henry Uriake and Victor Coco. Nine seconds left on the short clock. Possession. Rivers Coopers. Substitution, Raffle Akile limping off the court. Like, Sunday HMB is like, going to step in for him. He's really trying to force it. Yeah, he's trying to force it. I mean, let's blame that on the Mamba mentality because the Kobe brand in a situation like this, a game that he knows the team definitely needs. I mean, even with Band is everywhere, Bryant is going to step on this floor. A long three. Shot is good and it is a uh, tie. Uh oh, no, no, no. Not a tie for the <laughs> block in two successions by Victor Coco. And this is the third one. What a highlight play from Coco. He blocked him once, twice, and the third freaking time with Tokoko. But hey, good fight, man, from, from, from Big C. Chijoke of the Brave is not going to give up. He's going to go up there no matter what. Victor is business minded. And he will spend to keep his boss clean. He's going to do it regardless. And Sonny sells the foul. Yeah, Sonny sells the foul. I think that foul is going to maybe ascribe to Bio. It's been amazing. Defensively and defensively for the Hoopers. So he should do all he can to remain on the floor. Ladipo, Duro. Duro is going to come in for Bucci. Apparently, who is in a foul situation? The experienced coach Ogo will want to manage him. Oh, okay. Sonny JMB, he misses the first. Apparently, he's known for his facilitation. Shots are now really sustained. <laughs> so, when he misses, we don't frown. He misses the ball. Harry Oriaki to Owoicho. Oicho to Bayo, Bayo to Henry, Duro, Victor Coco, he tried the three, the shot not good, went straight into the hands of the Bron, three on two transition, uh oh, the Chichi had to lean on his body, suspend a little bit, went up the score, and that's how to score against Victor Coco, 45-48, Benio Brave still leading, going to be a foul on Sony Edge and B. Now the first team foul for this quarter. Three minutes gone. Seven minutes left to play in the third quarter. The Nigerian Professional Basketball League Final 8 Lagos 
2022 Road to Ball. Uh oh. Shot not good, but Victor will always be there. Uh -oh. Yeah, and it's gonna be basket will see it's gonna be a short clock violation. Kudos to the defensive propensity of the Benway Braves. Forcing the clock to run down. And the Rovers Coopers not scoring. <laughs> LeBron to Malone, Malone to Musti, and up. The only bridge now up by five points lead. Yo, I need to call the security man. The guy with the Vuvuzela behind us is really creating a basket. Is good. Henry Oriake is going to go to the line now to make it a three point play. Substitution. One machine out, another machine in. Owen and, ba Owen and Bayo, they are really struggling to keep the team afloat. Yeah, they are. Okay, substitution too. Big C is going to step in. Probably to see if he can contain and watch it a little bit. Shot is good. And it's a three point play. Three point play. <laughs> Okay, I wonder why he didn't go that. Was he afraid of a block? I he guess. was. If he had finished on the left hand side, it's gonna be a boom against him. And he had won that because he knew who was there. Wachek. But funny enough, a Wachek, a Wachek said a bit for him, my boy. He didn't take, he didn't go for the block. He didn't. The chance to increase the lead. Fresh out, not good. Score line 48. 50. Benway Braves to the two-point lead. Six minutes left. Four minutes gone. End of the third quarter. Sinks the second. Three-point advantage now. Out of bounds. In a brief ball. Chance to increase the, the tally. And substitutions is coming up. Substitution. James and Musti come. Apparently, Coach Ogo was not satisfied with that play between Musti and between um, Owacho, Owacho and, and Owen. Owacho and Owen. So you have to bring in James and Musti. <laughs> Has Benny Braves ever made it for any semi for any final it's semi finals? Like uh, semi finals no, in their no, no. I in the history. Came of, back from relegation. But no, as in the in the history of ever been in the Nigerian. Oh, come on, we have man. We need to check the record and furnish our fans with more of that information. But I think we have the shoe. I know about Goko Giants back in the day. Oh, later transformed to Goko oh, Heat. Yeah. Oh, good steal there by Oigoga. The River Super still maintain possession. And watch out with the three point play. Shot not good. Sonny Edison. And he fumbles the ball. That's going to be double dribble. I mean, a good player. A good player would. We release the ball. There's no point keeping on to the ball for so long, especially on a fast break transition. You know what, do, do you know what uh, Coach Ogo is doing? He's giving his, his team a chance to think. Every small, every small opportunity to slow down so that it's, he can give his team a breather. He was one that got the alert to the ref. Yeah, floor, so that... He just came back from the United States of America, so safety of his players should be of paramount importance to him. 
Don't blame him. He's looking out for them boys. That's what a good coach should do every time. Uh oh. Can you see the white spot we're talking about? Uh oh, uh oh. We talked about the white floor and the player just tripped and fall. So can you see now that coach Ogo was trying, was actually correct, was actually right. You, you could call him Nostradamus yeah, of basketball. Real. He saw he, he saw it, he saw before it, it coming. And unfortunately, he had to happen to one of his players. He, he, I can't believe he predicted something like that or actually pulled through. That was that was pretty that was pretty hilarious. So probably anytime you happen to be a basketball official, when you hear wet floor, make sure you stop the game and ensure the wet spot got cleaned up. I hope Akili is okay right now because him going in and coming out randomly. Then... Akili will not afford to be an Achilles heel to mm. his team right now. He's been defensive, he's been good. Watch oh, it. Mustafa. Oh. So the Mustafa always forcing. It's not a strategy. I don't. I he's think. Not, he's not, I mean, his strength is the shot. Is the shot. I think he's. he's and the, since this tournament has started, his shots have not been come uh, dropping. That's why he's trying to diversify. If the shot ain't working, let me try a drive. But yesterday he he dropped some some threes that helped his team. So he's a, he's a big player. So definitely, when you hear you playing against Cano Pillars, momentum has got to be high. Fresh out is good. Scores 49-53. Benway up by four. 100% on the free throw line. LeBron couldn't convert. LeBron couldn't convert that bucket. No it's going to be a foul. Unfortunately, now for the Benway Braves, they are on the penalty. Uh oh. Uh oh. Owen is heating up right now. A one point game. Oh ho. A little bit too late there for a watch eh? Malone had to sneak behind me. Mustafa. Three point attempt, but shot not good. Uh oh. He just tap up. Technical foul there on Malone. I mean, you gotta keep it cool as a player. We don't really need that. We don't need that. That ball will have gone the way of Benway Braves. We all saw it, man. I think Owen tapped it out of bounds. I think so. Yeah, everybody like this. Everybody's with their has yeah. their opinion. Well, hey, I'm not the ref. The referee decided to blow all the way, and that sparked off a reaction on the stare from the Benway Braves player. Who got punished with the technical foul? That wouldn't be good. You have to keep your cool. Oh, in this statement, what they say? Basketball, they go to church. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. And bas basketball, they go to church. If they feel that it's a, it's a bad call. Three point lead, possession, Coopers. Whoa, rebound, LeBron. He kicks out to Uchichi who tries a three. And he sees it. And he sees it. And guess what? He scored on Owen. Benway Braves really fighting real hard. 52-58. Bro. He's going to try his own three. And yes, what a reply. On, on, on Big C. Yeah, on Big C. Just 
air ball there from Chichi. Bad decision. And River oh. Pass make them pay for it. And it's back to a one point lead. Good communication there, Owen and Mr. Sam. BC come gets back. blocked. Come back, come back, yes, yes, or watch it. And they lose the possession again. And they oh. now take the one point lead. And they have a lead for the first time, time. since the blast of the whistle. Rivers Hoopers up now 59, Bene Braves 58. What a comeback! What a comeback! Good fight there from the young chap, Bro. Having a taste of his second year in the basketball Premier League. So we have less than two minutes. There are two minutes, twenty-two seconds on on the clock. Benue Braves down by one. Good effort by River Opal. Kick ball against Hoopers. Yeah, good observation there from the coach of the Benway Braves. Short clock is set to 14 seconds. LeBron is going to go all high against a watcher. Javelin to Owen. Okay, okay. Oh, good defensive play there by Sunday HMB. Uh oh, uh oh, we got a medical situation right now. Big C is on the floor. Chijoke, this is not good for the Benway Braves. At the end of the day, it's all love. You can see Bride and Awache helping to carry Chijoki of the Benue Braves off the court. Irrespective of the uniforms, we all are brothers. Basketball is a family. So it's best if we treat one another as siblings. Like you said, basketball is my life. The game is my wife. Uh oh. This is going to be a huge deficit for the Benway Braves. They've tried so far, they've been remarkable, they've been outstanding, they've been splendid, they've been good. From the blast of the whistle, maintaining the lead, they just lost possession. They lost the lead to the River Supers for the first time in the last two minutes. One minute, 58, one minute, 58 seconds left.
still struggling to make a basket off layup. Oh. Oh, I just saw him. Oh, it was swiftly intercepted. By Malone of the Bayonne Braves. James is going to try a three. A shot not good. A good box out there by Malone. Shot not good. That was a poor decision by Sonny HMB. James is going to take a drive to the rim. Well, start not good. Uchichi, how did he miss that? Okay, Malone is there to the rescue. Benway Braves keep missing the first and second chances. However, he was fouled, he's got the opportunity to go to the charity stripe to score two. Can he do that? We've got the next few seconds. Battle awards now, two is good, two is bad. Let's call the first one. Let's see who is gonna counter who in the battle awards. Okay, it's gonna be one more in too soon. The prying eye of the referee saw that. Malone has the opportunity to correct his mistake to right the wrong. Okay, two is good. Sanjay, you have to shut the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, I'll call. Time I'll call now with 51.9 seconds left in the third quarter. Benway Braves has taken over the lead with a one point. 60 Benway Braves, 59 Rivers Hoopers. Uh -huh. What an exciting game. Benway Braves need that slot. They need that semi-final slot. And if they win, it guarantees them a place in the semi-finals. Definitely, who knows? It may guarantee them a handshake with the governor. It may guarantee them some financial remuneration. Mm -hmm. I, just spoke, I, just spoke with the, I just spoke with the special media or with the special assistant to the governor on youth and sport matters who told me the governor is watching this game live via Nigeria Hoops in the State House in Makodi, the capital of the foot basket of the nation. And yay, Benue is now the hoops basket of the nation. So also words coming in from River State saying, Otom, I have to call Richard. Did you see what my boys are doing to your bravery? We came out to like, nah, don't worry. We will deal with them eventually. <laughs> Well, he's not going to score. Possession still. Owen. Oh, he kicks out to Musti. Musti to Duro, who will drive. And he won't score. What? No 
offensive foul is called on Bruno Graves. How, how did that happen? Once more, he is the ref and does the guy with the loud mouth. But seriously, how did that happen? They were both. That have been a jump ball. They were both in possession of the ball. Okay, he's a ref. He probably saw what we didn't see. We oh. both passed up. River uppers are, are really not capitalizing on their free throws right now. They and they they're really good from the free throw. And our chair fails to put back the second attempt. Oh, and a two-on-one transition. And Owen fumbles, but he goes back. And a late call. That was a very poor decision from Muchichi. I mean, double what we should do. 14 seconds, run down the clock. You have an advantage. Why the rush to pass the ball? That resulted in the turnover. And I, Unfortunately, I, the River Supers couldn't convert that fast break again. Owen and Duro, something is fundamentally wrong. I mean, But I me, I have a question. Why are the refs waiting about one or two seconds after the, the uh, incident to call the foul. And I don't know, probably the new updated FIBA rules said so. Hey, and, they, quote me. and they tied the game 60-60. Yeah. No, 60, they've 60. been doing it. Oh, and they did it in the first game. Uh, there was a foul and they, they waited till God knows when to, take, to, to call the foul. Now it happened again. And it's game over. No baskets. A tied game. 60 and it's a apiece. Tie. 60 apiece for both teams end of third quarter. Uh oh. Owen is down. Okay, Owen is up. That was a that was a nursery rhyme. Owen is down, Owen is up. Owen is gonna lock and pop. <laughs> and there we have it. End of third quarter.
trying though using their discretionary powers I don't think the referees will intentionally want to favor all the same we are humans we all got our limitations as well Patrick about trying to force his way oh that was a peace meal for Owen why are Benubrin starting to recover quickly? Are they tired already? Well, that was a huge fight. Very huge fight today. Oh, uh -oh. intercepted by James. But certainly, certainly that was a double dribble. Certainly that was a double dribble. That was a travel violation. The ref is all the call that. Now he's gonna punish the coach of the Braves for overreacting. I mean, just like the law of science. For every reaction, there must be an action that will trigger that. That was a double dribble. That was a travel violation. We gotta call this ball as a ref. We gotta call this ball as a ref to avoid reactionary uh, on situations like this but here the coach of Benny you got to keep your cool you can't afford to get any technical foul now now this is a three-point lead this is where experience this is where experience needs to count yeah this is where experience needs to count that's to count for something definitely the most experienced team will take this because right now there's a lot of controversy. It's a very close game. Although River Upers are up by three points, it's still a very close game, so anything can happen. A G3, it doesn't count. Yeah, definitely. I saw that. Abu Malik. I'm most dead. I had to chip in my voice to talk about it. But hey, we must still give it to the ref. Adjudicating a game like this ain't easy. Uh oh. Fake and a drive by Musti. But that was a flop. Certainly not a foul. Possession still hoopers. Whoa, beautiful ball rotation. But still, the shot won't sit. The ball two against one. And Someone it's a one-point lead. One-point lead. Okay. A cheering news now for Benue Braves. A GOK, aka Big C, is back on the floor. 62-63. Benue Braves, call for a timeout. Seven minutes, 33, 36 seconds left. Wait, they called uh, five fouls on number 13. Who's that? That is LeBron. Emmanuel Oigo get five fouls? No, they can't afford to lose a player like that. He can't afford to graduate. He's been pivotal. He's been instrumental. He's been supportive. He's been helpful to the team. I mean, nah. 
They can't lose a player like that. So I'm going to blame now the technical crew of the Benway Braves. Are they not monitoring the foul situation of every player on their bench? Not from their stats, they are saying it only has four fouls. So it's, it's the award against the tables. Okay, the table is the final arbiter. And I think it's the table the referee is going to listen to. That means LeBron is going to sit on the bench. Oh, it's going to be a huge loss. What a shame for the Benway Braves. They need a talent like that on the floor. But hey, they are fighters. Henry or Owen Uriaki. Shot, Shot no good. Rebound to Chichi. Patrick will go for a two. And he drops the three. The shot is good. They have reclaimed the lead. Caught a three point shot from Patrick Abba. 63 65, seven minutes left. A long shot there. A shot not good from Mustafa Rebanji. Six minutes, 39 seconds remaining. Benny Dave lead by two. And Uchichi with the three. He oh, sinks oh, it. Oh, oh. Back to back, back to back three. Back to back three points. Living River Hoopers. Living Royal Hoopers in a dazzle mode. How is this happening? They are shocked. They are all struck. What is happening? What is happening? Yeah, Teresa, true. For every time the Hoopers calm down on the offense, it results into a basket. But they always want to rush. I wonder. I mean, why not stick towards working for you? But hey, they are the players. We are just the guys watching. They are the ones wearing the shoe. They probably know better. But I don't think a coach Ogre, an experienced coach Ogre, will tell them to rush. Mr. Coco. That was and a steal by Uchichi. He's struggling to get the ball. He will do all he can to keep the ball alive. He did that in one week. Sonny edge and beat to Patrick again. A shot no good. Rebound and the big seat. A foul by Ocho. Simon Ocho foul three, um, big C. Chijoki is gonna go to the line to shoot two free throws. He's got the opportunity to extend into a seven-point lead. That's if he scores the two free throws though. 55 minutes, 50 seconds left. Mustafa is gonna go out. Bio is going to step in. First shot is good. Now, nah, Shanjay, he ain't going to wait. He's going to score. Big up to Sanjay. He's, he's the real top supporter of Nigerian basketball. Yeah, kudos to him. That brother has been in the basketball scenery for a while. And he's also a player of the Nigerian wheelchair basketball team. Representing the whoa ho, whoa ho, that was a block on Onyebuchi by Big C. Uchichi tries another tree, but shot not good. Okay, complimented with a good defense, Victor Coco or Joe Owen. Bio. Uh -oh, uh -oh. He thought Owen was there. He had to throw the ball there, but Owen has left the scene. Good defense by the Benue Braves, setting confusion in the camp of the enemy. Thing about about this final eight um, double A is that no team is a pushover. 
No team underrate any team at your own period. I mean, see what Quara Falcons did. I see what Benway Brave is doing to the almighty Rivers Hoopers. I mean, aside Lagos Islanders, of course, it was an island. A piece of land surrounded by water, yeah? <laughs> I think that team is a piece of things surrounded by L. <laughs> L Islanders. L Islanders. The L Landers. The the L Landers. <laughs> Uh, by but they've they not won any game so far. Not that you think they've not they've lost all their games. But you know the funny thing, they have really great players in that squad. Yeah, they do. I, I, I saw some of them play this summer with Chet on and oh boy, they were outstanding. And they now had the addition of Sabo. Sabo in the team is supposed to bring out that experience. But yeah, I don't know well, when. We saw, we saw minimal performance from the Sabo. Could it be attributed to the fewer times he, he, he always get on the floor? But no, oh, the, no. the previous games, he's been having a lot of playing time. We check his minutes from the stats. Okay. Okay, he's been having, uh, he averages at least 20, 25 minutes okay, I was, I was per making, game. I was making reference to today's game because he had minimal appearances on the floor. But well, hey. maybe I guess they had nothing to lose anymore, so... I don't know, and that's why they had to they had to conceive a forty point deficit from Cano Pillars. I mean, there's going to be a whole lot of mathematics after today's game, especially man from the Savannah Conference. But I, who I, are the two top teams that are going to qualify from Savannah Conference but, to proceed? To but the, the mathematics is going to reduce if Benue Braves win. win oh, Benue Braves win definitely. <laughs> Benue Braves are in the semis in already. The semis. So they are not in the in the, in the mathematic. Um, um, contest, contest. It now be between customs, Gombe, and um, Canopulas. Now it depends on Gombe if they win their next match. And they got to win with a high margin, a very, very high margin. I mean, Ben Abrams win. They are, they are not going to be speaking mathematics, no, but it's going to be English, or probably they're going to be speaking Thief or Idoma, whichever. First shot, not good. Now, Rupas are really fumbling at the free throw line. This is where they're supposed to cut the lead down because they used this yesterday against Canopillas. But today, it's not working for them. The okay, second the score, shot is good. The score is 64, Rivers Hoopers, then Benway Braves 69. Five point lead. What a nifty move by, by SM Sonny to find Chijoke for the easy bucket. And they increase their lead now, 64-71. Samuel Owecho. Having a bad shooting tournament. And he, adds, and he adds another... He's never been, he's never been the same since he came back from that wrecking injury he had. He suffered. <laughs> Chijoke. Okay. Oh, he fails. Okay. Okay, okay. It's a second okay. chance to 64 73, ladies and gentlemen. Nine point lead. Royal Hoopers are having their. They're having it all to blame. It's River Hoopers now, brother. River Hoopers, sorry, my mistake. Okay. And still. He threw the ball straight into the hands of Sonny HMB. The point guard of the Benway Braves, I mean, they really played brave. I need to ask a question. Why hasn't Bright been introduced back into the game? Bright is one of their changing factors. That will be a jump ball. Yeah, jump ball says the referee. Let's see, the ball is going to go the way. Of Rivers Hoopers joining from the arrow up. on the table. I think there's a foul called on oh, no, the pushing foul, oh. and they have another oh. 14 seconds. Okay, that call was overturned. It's going to be a foul. Okay, Nyebuchi, the assistant captain of the team, is going to step off the floor, making way for the legendary shot blocker, prolific rebounder, and astute player Chris Ogbeka to step on the floor.
Ojobo, don't, don't. Headed, headed for bar. Bar, don't, don't, don't. Don't, that be, that's too overrated. That would be too presumptuous. That would be too presumptuous. That would be too early. But hey, Anything who knows? Is Anything is possible, man. Say what? Say what? Anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Sonny fails Beautiful to take the shot. Here. Oh, shot not good. And oh, good pass, Simon Owecho. Henry will shoot a three. Owen, oh, I beg your pardon. He doesn't sink, and they get possession. Two minutes, 38 seconds remaining. Is that going to be an upset today? Is that going to be a change of on the table? Step on the shot. Shot no good. Rebound Musti. He will go up to Uchichi and uh -oh. still not good. Rebound Coco. I mean, a player like Coco Double A, if you check the stats now, you will see he must have gotten at least 10 rebounds. And it's intercepted by Mustafa and nine seconds on the shot clock. Two minutes, one second remaining. Benway Braves. 73, River Hoopers 64. Nine point lead there. Time out call quickly, coach. Hey, they, they shouldn't celebrate too soon. I've seen leads. Yeah. People lose lead in less than one minute. True that. True that. But Ogo apparently not satisfied with the performance of his players. From his reaction, from his voice, from his gestures, we can tell he ain't happy. I think River Up has felt too comfortable today. He felt too comfortable and it's apparently telling on them. Too soon to give her up too early to celebrate. My piece of advice to both teams. Whatever is working for you, stick to it. Whatever I am working, improve on it. Ditch it, throw it to the curb. Game of basketball, the Nigerian Professional Basketball League. Final 8, Lagos 2022. Road to bar. No basket, not good. And Benway Braves retain possession. Less than two minutes. And a foul! And one! And counted! Uchichi gives Benway Braves another Increasing lead, 64, 75. 11 point lead, Benway Braves. From the way it seems, they are heading to the semi-finals. What a fairy tale. What an emotion. This is emotional right now. Benway people, everyone around, Supporters of Benway Braves, this, in a long time, have we seen Benway progress, Benway Braves progress this far in Nigerian Premier League. The fairy tale is finally coming true. The jinx about to be broken. Thank you very much, Ben Peter, the CEO of Lagos Legends. Thanks for the recognition. And kudos to you for what I want to be doing. I mean, the big brother has been doing big things, man, with the Lagos legend. Hey, who knows? We may probably come for trials, man, <laughs> for the Lagos legend. Mm -hmm. We're not playing basketball. Ours is going to be mouth get ball. Mouth get ball. <laughs> I'm back to business. Less than a minute. Oh, it's safe to say Benway Braves are winners of this game. 52 seconds, 50 seconds, and it's 64 76. Okay, shot clock violation. 12 point lead. A 12 point lead. This is the highest that River Hoppers has considered in this tournament. It was 14 points. Now it's 12. 
River Uppers have it all. Although they they have qualified. Well, it's safe to say it's safe to call it parody time for the Benway Braves. I mean, Michael CIO stepping in for the heroic Big C. So right now, it's Canopillas. Customs and Gombe Bulls to slug it out. Who is gonna and be the and, second and, team to and, make and, it from the Savannah Conference? Think about it. Yeah. Customs has the the biggest advantage because they have two wins. Two wins so already. if they win the next game, automatically. And who they, who are they facing off with? Police battles. Police battles. For real? No. No, no, no. Custom is not playing police. No, they're not Custom play. played police party yesterday. I mean, it was a blowout yesterday. Yes. Almost okay, one. they'll be playing. Is it Lagos? I, no. Um, Quara, okay, Customs are going to play Quara, Quara Falcons. Falcons. Yeah. Customs will be playing Quara, Quara Falcons. Falcons. So, like we said, Quara Falcons has also qualified. So, they might not. I don't know. Maybe they want to top the group. But right now. As it, as it stands, Quara Falcons or Benway Braves are top at or uh, Benway Braves are like number two on the table right now. Yeah, no, as it is now, they are number one on the table. On the Savannah table. Yeah, so the outcome of the of the of the Quara Falcons versus Customs games will determine who will come second. The outcome of Gumbe Bulls versus Police Battle will also determine. Then of course, Kanu Pillows won with 40 points. Let's not forget that. So it's gonna be a whole lot of mathematics. Good thing you read math in school, so I'm gonna give that headache to you right now. Me. <laughs> I've already just told, I've told you what I know. If customs win, there's no need for any mathematics. Yeah, right. true, true, true that. True that. Sonny, 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 Sonny keeps scoring. He's got the, the this will be his throw. first basket. I mean, no. Sonny scored a free throw. Okay, good things can happen to Nigeria there. Oh, oh, oh he, he makes both. Second. 50% on the free throw no, line. 50 he missed the first oh, okay, okay, the first okay. time he was at the line he missed both both shots and we have 16 seconds remaining a foul, a foul. on Malon 13 seconds so it's safe to start singing the victory song already hey somebody call Oton tell him to throw a party in Benue because we just moved to the semi-finals breaking the jinx I mean Shout out to Benoit Brave for an outstanding performance. Yeah, they kudos they to coach, fought. Head coach Martina, um, yeah, kudos to Coach Martina. I mean, whatever Benoit Brave is enjoying today, Coach Martina laid the path. She carved the path. She laid the blueprint for them. And good thing is Coach Regina is now consolidated on her effort. Kudos to Ninja. Kudos to um, Kato. Kato, LeBron. Kudos to Martina. All the technical crew. I mean, big shout out to the players for their effort. This is this is real good. Oh, and miss both. Free throws. It's surprising. Those Eight seconds remaining. Those are surprising. For and to score. ladies surprising. and gentlemen, we have and it. And it is a wrap already. Benway Braves are in the semi-finals. A good fight by Benway Braves. Benway Braves, from start, they almost lost it in the in the fourth. But Uchichi and Big C, two of them combined to give Benway Braves the lead. And they blew out River Hoopers. Matter of fact, there's no point singling out a name or names. The entire team had a wonderful performance. Did you see the fight? Did you see the difference? Well, hey, kudos, man, to everybody. The River Supers too. They tried. I think they're trying to play safe. I mean, having booked a ticket for the finals. So, what's the point fighting? Congrats to River Hoopers. Congrats to Braves. They are both in the semi-finals, so we we'll have to wait for the next, the next set of two teams that will join River Opas and Benway Braves. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a wrap for now. Temporarily, we're gonna be back later. Peace to y'all, man. Thanks. Don't forget, keep in tune with the Ninja Hopes. God bless y'all.